This portion of Sumter County has received 20 plus inches of rain in the last five weeks, and that's the most of our 16 counties of our entire district. Tropical storm Elsa came through, dumped additional rainfall. We're here today in the Gant Lake area near the town of Webster. We're investigating very high water complaints we've been getting from residents. I'm Dr. Mark Fulkerson, a Chief Professional Engineer with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. I'm in the Engineering and Watershed Management section. We study watersheds throughout our 16 counties. I'm working with Mark Pike today. He's in our regulatory division. His folks are the ones that will respond to flooding complaints typically, where it's just the land filling up right. We've hooked up today and we're going to meet with some of these residents and if there's anything we can do to help, we're going to do that today. This is part of the problem. We have water flows from offsite and it's filling up our low points of our property. The red are like the higher areas. It's really important that we get out and we meet with folks, that we help look at some issues that they're facing. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's helpful. It's really good for people have one-on-one. -on -one. We talk to them and with the both of us there, they know there are two departments in our agency working on it and they feel like their problem's getting solved. They're getting attention and we're looking for a solution and they know somebody's at least trying. I'm in the engineering group, he's in the regulatory group, but we kind of cross over together on a day like this and team up and use our strengths together to really be able to address the citizens' concerns. The structure on the outfall to Gantt Lake is open about a foot. Water is really moving out of this structure fast. We've got Gantt Lake pulled down a foot below its normal high level. The structure is functioning properly. Water is really flowing out of Gantt Lake like it should right now. We drove around the entire area. We looked at all the culverts and canals and ditches that are draining. Everything's flowing like it should. The water will go down. It's just going to take time. Our efforts today are just part of the district's mission to help reduce flood risk in communities like this throughout the district.